of you my life is now worthwhile and i can't smile hey everybody it's dr merle how are you big doc <laughs> hey i'd like to add every once in a while i'm on, good you, are there any songs that you know that you can sing that uh, like that what, what are you actually thinking like... why would anyone come on tv <laughs> and begin to pick stuff out of their mm. mouth what is that? I don't. I do not wish to know. That would be a very bad thing. Let's talk quickly about the movie and get away from whatever just I came out of your mouth. Or where, yeah. All right. It's White Zombie tonight. Tell me about it quickly. You got ten I seconds. Remember a few weeks back, Revolt of the Zombies. We saw Bella Lugosi's eyes superimposed yes. over the army zombie. Yes. This this is where it came from. The original. They took his White eyes zombie. from White Zombie. Ah, yeah, they dig the graves in the middle of the road because they were afraid of the people stealing the bodies. That's one of my favorite. No. And let me say that does wonders well, for reasonable. traffic. Here it is. Horrible chicken cam there. Uh, take the chicken away. I want the chicken <laughs> to go. I don't like the chicken anymore. We may have to. Where did the chicken come from? Do you remember? Stop uh, the TV. We, we may just have found it we in may the have, studio. Oh, that's right. It's someone else's. There we it's go. It's been abandoned. All right. I didn't want to. Uh, yeah, that's right. All right, everybody. I'll tell yeah, you what. I don't sing. I whistle. <laughs> you know, that is a big problem. When you're burying the bodies in the middle of the road, friends, it's like, have you ever driven in Newark? Have you ever, I can't say that I have. I have. I've driven to Newark recently. Let me tell you, it's like they have bodies buried in the middle of the road. They have 14 lanes of traffic, and it ain't moving uh -huh. that darn fast. And it's some scary folks, some zombies out there, let me tell you right says now. says most likely. Most so likely. Perhaps it's, I was in Newark. It's true. It's actually true. It was very bumpy in Newark. All right. Let's, let's go back over to the White Zombie. Bodies. Enjoy yourself. Zombies! Zombies. We'll walk in zombies forever. We'll in the zombies. <laughs> You don't have to be a zombie to work here, but it helps. <laughs> it sure does, my nice friend. Day. He's tainted. He's all tainted up <laughs> nice. Dude, go get a tight shot of the zombie eyes. That is a, you know, Dr. Uh, Doctor Moreau, he doesn't come here unprepared, much like Ned the Dead. <laughs> he comes here actually. I mean, that is a good look, wow, dude. That is, that is a geez, classic that look is a right brow. there. My favorite zombies have the... Uh, Unibrow. That's well, and the little curl that you've got going there. That is here. Let's curl that one down. There, that is the look for you. There it is, Bert and Ernie. That's exactly right. All right, let's get back to the movie, everybody. Get out of here. Get now. Stop there. You know, Doctor Moreau, when you see death as a reflection in your wedding chalice, I don't know if that's a bad omen or what. Mm. What do you think? Much like uh, in the terror of the haunted house, when your bride is screaming right. as you drive up to your Right to your new house, residence. right? You're going to pick out the new house, yes. and she's screaming. I like when you, you know, see the that reflection of the wedding chalice, and there's death in there. Is all good. That that's, ain't good. That's, that's a bad start. Dang. You want to share some things about the movie here? You got your clipboard out, and you look look like you're all I wanted to, Josh, did you have a relative working in the Hollywood in the 30s? Because the way Bella Lugosi went out of focus there at the very end, you know, I was, I was, it was a lot like the way Josh does yeah. his camera work. That's how Josh rolls. That's, that's <laughs> how, what I was thinking. I don't know. That wasn't very nice. And Madeline, do you notice that she's got the classic 30s Betty Boop face? I, there's she's a boop got face. the round face. I wasn't the, looking at her boop. The hair glued to her head. <laughs> and her boop sweet little lips. I wasn't looking at her boops, my friend. I know Betty how to boops. look over right in the eye. Betty's I, boops. Uh, sorry about that. Betty's <laughs> boops. Kid. Have you got to match? <laughs> Have you got to match? Yes. 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 Your breath in a buffalo fart. <laughs> That's a match. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Sorry about I never. that. That was... Mm, Jeez. I to do some hand Ugh. clenching. Well, I believe if I did a little more hand clenching, I would clench my stomach and hands to death. <laughs> that. Sorry about that. I don't know what happens here, man. I get clenching. I get... Have you ever clenched up really? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't ask that of you. Yikes. <laughs> yes. You should have something on the other side, too. Kind of the anti-yikes. Oh. You know what I mean? Wait for you, it. Uh... <laughs> no, I know. Hey, next week's movie, everybody, is uh, Wrestling Ooh. wrestling Women in the Aztec Mummy. One of the mm. most unusually strange yes. movies filled with nothing. Oh, I don't think there's ever actually any wrestling women on Aztec Mummy action. Well, no, that's right. They're never together. But, but no, there is wrestling. There's a lot of wrestling women, though. Friends, the mummy will show up. Saturday at 11 next week. Up. Enjoy. You know, I'm a little weirded out by the fact that in this movie, the zombies... 
You can cease the horrible tongue maneuvering, I can tell you that right now, because the movie pales in comparison to what I'm standing next to. Here's what I don't understand. In the modern day zombie movies, the zombies and the regular non-zombie living humans generally don't hang together in the same proximity. Yet in this movie, the zombies and the humans mm. coexist. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I mean, that's... Well, the zombies are under the power of certain humans. Well, I understand, but so, at the same time, I mean, it's still... more mind-controlled than they are eating human flesh. Fine, right, that came later. That came during the era where you can eat some human flesh and enjoy yourself. You know after what I'm saying? After the Depression. No, oh, that's right, after the Depression. That's nice. Yeah, when food wasn't as easy to come by. That then, was then a good one, your Dr. Zombies got out of line. That was a good one right your, there. Your zombies went feral. Let's go back to the movie quickly. Gone. He's doubling. He's yes. got a doubler. All right, this is as good as it gets for you. we got to go back to the movie. Okay. Savor this moment. Very well done. <laughs> what? Ah, no. Sorry about that. That was just worth waiting for. for. Here we go, baby. We give you one. Just gave you one. You're sitting there going, what's the matter with it? What's the matter? <laughs> Let's do a slow-mo plank spank. See, a lot of people wonder about the... Get right down here, Josh. Here's where you want to shoot, right here. Okay, now, we're going to go ahead. Now, all right, here's... Here, no, no, get tight. And then I'll go slow-mo so he can make the cut here. But here's how this works. Start in the wide shot. Go ahead out to the, the big shot. Now, here's what happens. People say, how can you do that without hurting your hand? So in slow-mo, you come from the top. When you get that cut to the other one now, go cut. When you get to here, it's a cupping motion. You can't ever let the meat of the hand hit because that does hurt. When you get in this area here, that can hurt you. So it's actually got some cupping, and it then radiates. All right, so let's now in full motion. Here we go. And... Oh, that you can pound all day. Very instructional. You can pound all day. Thank you. you. That is fun. Yes. yes. Well, the death by falling continues. There it is, baby. There with the zombies like lemmings. Four weeks in a row, my One friend. One after another. Four weeks in a row. You know, I think they ripped that off for in uh, the 300. Movie that's yeah. in the theater right now. Right. Where they're all falling off the I think I think they did it. That's the director, that director guy's from Green Bay. Yep. He may have actually seen it, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You know. I just, 30 years ago when I played it at Chili Theater. I just you know want to I mean? say real quick, Madge Bellamy, who played uh, Madeline in the movie, she was in Fox's first talking, first talking motion picture, and 11 years later, she shot her millionaire lover who jilted her for another woman. And Lindsay Lohan and Britney Spears still have yet to do that. You have a frightening little life, you know what I'm saying, dude? You do thank have. You. you have a frightening little life. But I'm so glad you're here, Dr. Burrow. You're a good human. Hey, we want to thank you people for coming. We want to thank Van Vredes for being here for us. We love them, need them, thank them. And, of course, My New 32, they're the fine folks that we love. They're our peeps. We dig them. Let's get back. Join us next week, everybody. Enjoy yourselves.